Hello, this is David Wallman with Arabas Music. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can enter notes in your Guitar Pro 7.5 project. Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna start with a new project. We can start with an existing project by importing a MIDI file, music XML, ASCII, table edit, or power tab file. We can also open a previously created project. Guitar Pro 7.5 is retro compatible with all the previous versions of Guitar Pro, but for our purposes here, we're gonna start from scratch. Here you can select the instrument you want, but we're gonna start with a distorted electro guitar. We're gonna create that first track, and now we're gonna enter some notes. And before adding notes, we're gonna go into the sound menu and make sure that the option play while editing is enabled. We can use the computer keyboard to add notes. The arrow keys are gonna navigate through the different strings. The number pad is used for the fret numbers. We can change the rhythm value of these notes with the plus or the minus sign. We can also dot a note by pressing the comma. We can undot it by pressing it again. We can also use the asterisk here. If you want to hear what this sounds like, just hit the space bar. If you want to save time, you can also copy and paste sections by first selecting the section. The shortcut Ctrl-C on PC and Command-C on Mac will copy the section and paste with the shortcut Ctrl-V on PC, Command-V on Mac. And of course, any pasted section can be modified. Let's make this a little nicer by going into the view, design mode. The first system has three bars. We're going to change that by clicking this minus. Now we only have two. I can drag this, make my modifications, this looks a lot better. There are a lot of shortcuts in Guitar Pro 7.5 that will allow you to maximize your workflow. In the description of this video, there's a link to download all the available shortcuts. Check them out. But for now, here are a few that I think are very useful. Use the arrow keys to navigate through the different strings and the different notes. Change the rhythm value of any notes using the plus or minus. The slashes for triplets. Pressing L will tie a note to the previous one. Pressing Shift and L would tie a chord to the previous one. Pressing R will add a rest. Use T to add text to any section. A will bring up the chord menu. This is gonna save you tons of time. Not only is the tool going to recognize the chord that you entered in your project, but it's also gonna give you tons of different alternatives. Just click on one of these, and not only will the chord name appear above the frets you selected, but also the chord diagram will be listed on top of your score. Now, if you don't want to use your computer keyboard to enter notes, you can also use a connected MIDI keyboard. Just make sure that the keyboard is recognized by going into Guitar Pro 7, Preferences, Audio MIDI, select your MIDI keyboard as the MIDI input, and in the sound option, make sure that MIDI capture is enabled. Now, keep in mind that if you decide to use a MIDI instrument, this will only work step by step, which means that the rhythm you play is not going to be recognized by the software. You will have to manually change the rhythm value of the notes by either using your computer keyboard or the left edition panel. And before you ask, yes, Guitar Pro 7.5 is also compatible with MIDI guitars. For those of you who need a visual aid, you can select one by going into the view Three different views are available. We have the fretboard view, the keyboard view, and the drum view if you decide to work with drums. You can change the dimensions of these views. When you navigate through your score, you will see the notes highlighted on whichever view you selected. And you can also enter notes directly in the fretboard view or the keyboard view. Whatever note you enter is going to be reflected in your main score. Here's a quick tip that is going to save you tons of time. If you want to change something in your project, it's very simple. Guitar Pro 7.5 allows you to simply click on any element of your score directly to change its value. You wanna change the tempo? Click on the tempo. Time signature? Click on it. Same thing with the tuning. This makes it very simple and quick to change anything you like in your project. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. If you have not yet discovered Guitar Pro 7.5, you should. There's a free demo available on the website. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.